I think first and foremost, Mr. Gain, he just demonstrates a passion for the content area. Whether you are a colleague, an administrator, or a student, um, it, it's just you know um, evident you know when you see him and when you see him instructing that he has a passion for that. I've known Kevin. Kevin's been kind of a mentor of mine for 24 years. He just constantly helps people. He's not only a good teacher at whatever the subjects that he's teaching, but also just he really gives us life lessons that are important beyond school. I think uh, more success comes with teaching the kids life skills. Uh, not so much just how to run a machine, but it's just becoming a better human being altogether. And I think that's what we're here for, is just to, uh, uh, to help each other out. And then I think the, another part of it is just how much he enjoys working with the students and the relationships that, that he has formed with them. He's just one of my favorite teachers here at Grafton High School. He's always there for help. He works with the woods mainly, but it's more than that. He's our fab lab guy. Mr. Gain was the driving factor behind the addition and creation of our fabrication lab, all the way back to the inception of writing the grant. He prints stickers for us, he prints signs. Mr. Gain knew that we were looking for something a little bit different in terms of the education of our students in the area of technical education and, and really was able to foresee uh, the importance of a fabrication space for our students. Well, I really like the project that we're currently doing, which is a Wisconsin-shaped cutting board. And I like it because it's not just taking a piece of wood and just cutting it out, but you have different pieces and to, like, to put them all together and to sand them all. And, um, I just think the like putting it together and having that final product, it's really nice. So Mr. Gaines' YouTube channel has uh, certainly taken off over time. Uh, kind of started back uh, through uh, the virtual instruction. We shut down on, on March 13th and we didn't know when we were coming back. And I'm trying to figure out a way, how, how can I get my kids to learn? And he decided that uh, even though he can't be with the kids, he can still reach the kids. His YouTube channel is great. It's like having the teacher there like 24 seven. So I, I jumped on YouTube and it started to kind of kind of click where it's like, if other people can teach in this manner, I, I can do the same thing. So I set up my camera and my tripod and I started teaching about siding because that's where my construction students were. And all of a sudden, the, uh, the views started growing. Uh, kids started commenting. He always just explains everything so well. So much background context so you're not messed up or like if you didn't know anything about it after watching a 15 minute video, you would know a lot of stuff. And I ended up uh, creating these videos so when students came back from either having COVID or not being able to uh, uh, to come into a traditional classroom and catch up, they could watch the videos whenever they wanted. But after I hit my 100th video, I, I didn't ever think that I was gonna get that far. As you walk throughout the space here um, and in his, his shop, you can certainly see the different uh, QR codes. One day, all of a sudden, uh, I, I did get my email through the listserv of all our tech ed teachers in the state of Wisconsin that are a part of that that somebody asked a question about uh, a, a certain process, certain machines, certain software, and I kind of threw out my YouTube videos, my channel, and said, hey, here it is, if you want to look at any of my other resources, then somebody within that listserv replied and said, oh my gosh, what a great resource for everybody. Do you mind if I put this out on our social media page? And I said, oh, absolutely, that's what it's there for. And from there, all of a sudden, I, I got a nomination in my you know, email. I just think he's a great person overall and great teacher. Have the WTA awards chair go through everybody's accomplishments, and then all of a sudden just go, we like this guy. He's the one that, uh, that we're gonna choose this year. I, I'm just seriously blown away. I mean, I couldn't thank them enough. I certainly would like to thank WTEA uh, for selecting uh, Mr. Kevin Gain uh, for this award. We are so fortunate to have uh, Kevin as an instructor at Crafton High School. Hey, Kevin, congratulations.
well-deserved. Uh, thanks for all the support you've given me over the last 24 years. Congratulations, Mr. Gain. Thank you so much for all you've done for me. You've pushed me for electrical. You've helped me so much finding what I want to do. Thank you so much for teaching me and my whole entire class. You really earned this award, so congratulations. We are so proud of you and so thankful that you're working with our students here at Crafton High School. Congratulations.